doing it. If it's somebody that's really uh, like has at the very beginner level, like no interest, just begin to maybe hear it. I would probably recommend, um, and I think I even wrote an article of, about it at different stages, but even one of those apps, there's, there's many, many apps out today as it's a growing uh, interest in practice um, to where it's just beginning to familiarize oneself with uh, what meditation is and what it could be. Uh, and to begin to recognize one's original or one's already uh, preconceived notions about what it may be, you know, because often we think, you know, when somebody mentions meditation, we often think about a monk or somebody sitting, uh, you know, in the mountains, sitting and meditating. Um, but it's, it itself has such a vast array of meditations and practices and techniques. Um, but I would recommend a, an app like, I think, Headspace, uh, you can check out. I, I helped with Mind Valley. Um, those are really good companies. I'm trying to think of other like apps that have just like shorter, you know, between five to 20 minute meditations, just by focusing on, you know, your breath and maybe the sensations on the body. And just to begin to practice kind of building presence, to begin to recognize um, the thoughts that arise in your head, the sensations uh, that arise on the body, to, be, to become a little bit more connected with the body and uh, one's own thoughts and their, how, how they interact in their personality, you could say their thoughts, feelings and how they interact and act in throughout a day. Um, so just to repeat, like apps like um, Headspace, you can check out company Mind Valley. Uh, you were connected and I even did um, Olami and they have a great introductory course with uh, Jackie Gla Glazer on, and that adds kind of Jewish concepts to it. Uh, so using, you know, different, uh, terms from the Kabbalah or just from uh, Jewish texts uh, that, that help one understand uh, meditation and where it comes from, because it ultimately does come from a Jewish uh, background. And uh, uh, there's also good apps like, um, what's it called? Insight Timer. And so one could kind of create their own ambient background and set a timer. And just focusing on, like I said earlier, the the breath, the inhalation of the the breath into the nose and out the nose, and um, different ways we can take that. So those are just kind of ways I would recommend beginning to open up one's interest uh, in meditation and even trying out and looking and researching a little bit about well, what are some small ways I can practice. Uh, and then if you'd like, we can dive more into what goes on in meditation, as I uh, alluded to just a little bit.